The Ajax moniker is quite important in Mazda's history. Historically, anything holding the name has had a rotary engine, but the RX-7 has always had a little more panache than its RX family. The RX-7 is perhaps best known by UK car purchasers in FD form, the third and last RX-7 generation developed during a 10-year period, from 1992 to 2002. The FDRX-7, which was imported in limited quantities to the UK, was distinguished by its usage of a twin-turbocharged dual-rotor 13B IEW engine, the first time a forced induction rotary motor had been used in a model imported outside of the Japanese domestic market. When it was released in the UK, the RX-7 generated 237 brake horsepower, but because to its light weight, it could easily compete with more powerful rivals like as the Toyota Supra, Honda NSX, and Nissan Skyline GTR. Today, the RX-7 is a rare beast, especially one that has escaped the greasy fingers of backyard tuners, but, find one with a decent history and intelligent former owners, and the benefits are substantial. The RX-7, like all rotary engine Mazdas, takes a lot of TLC to be healthy, as well as periodic engine rebuilds due to rotor seal deterioration. RX-7 in detail. The first RX-7 was introduced in 1978, and its light, small fastback form and rotary engines proved popular with purchasers. Buoyed by a strong Japanese economy, Mazda produced the larger and heavier FC model in 1986 with more of a GT bent, but it failed to entertain like the previous car, prompting Mazda to revert to its lightweight roots with the third and final generation FD. The vehicle, which debuted in 1992, was unquestionably one of the most stunning designs to emerge from Japan up to that point, with its low-slung, shrink-wrapped bodywork standing in stark contrast to the boxier FC. The RX-7 debuted exclusively with the aforementioned 13B REW twin-turbo engine and was available with both a 5-speed manual and a sluggish 4-speed automatic transmission. The engine was based on the one used in Mazda's Cosmo Coupe, a Japanese domestic market four-seater GT that not only combined turbocharging and a rotary engine for the first time, but also featured the first usage of digital sat-nav. Featuring a sequential twin-turbo arrangement, the RX-7 used only one turbo at lower engine speeds to boost response, with the second only coming into play beyond 4000 RPM. Although it minimized turbo lag, the RX-7's rotary engine still had troubles from the 1990s, primarily due to the power plant's intrinsic lack of torque. The other compromise of the turbos was the loss of the previous RX-7's dizzying rev restrictions, this time, the engine was limited to a more regular 8000 RPM. The RX-7 was launched in the UK in 1992 with a single high specification to compete with the Porsche 911, costing a significant £32,000, but after a year of weak sales, Mazda reduced the price to £25,000. UK cars were equipped with the stiffer suspension and strut braces of the Japanese market are model, but the used car market has since been flooded with privately imported models, making it difficult to pinpoint specific specifications due to the endlessly confusing Japanese model variants. Later cars increased power to the 276 brake horsepower gentleman's agreement threshold, with curb weights consistently hovering around 1,300 kg, although the most focused variants, such as the renowned Spirit R and Type RZ made famous in racing games, were all unique to Japan.